Ah, what's going on guys? It's Tony K with Urban Girl Scout Media, living the dream as always. Getting a sip of this ice cold water. Uh, I'm in Florida. It is 8.41 here in Florida. My computer is not set in the time correctly, but it is May 11th. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the last few weeks of the historic metagame. It's really shifted a lot. In fact, it's shifted so much that we have gotten three new cards to enter the top five of the most played. And they are all Mystical Archive cards. As you can see here, uh, Fable Passage, you know, let me just do a quick side rant. You see a lot of people who complain about how cards played too much in a format should be banned. Because it doesn't take any skill to play the card and it slots into every deck and everyone's just playing it. Huh. Fable Passage seems to be one of those cards. So maybe it's it's something more than just how many how much the cards played. Anyways, I did want to talk about so we're gonna skip over fail passage. But in the top five, we have three new cards here in the last two weeks. We have Brainstorm, Memory Lapse, Inquisition of Kozilek. These are all three mystical archive cards. Two of them are blue cards that are being used for the your Delver kind of combos or your Storm combos or whatever. And then Inquisition of Kozilek is just a great backup punch to Thoughtseize. Overall, guys, what I wanted to point out is if you're opening your Strixhaven packs on Arena, these are cards that if you don't have but you're going to try and play competitively in the historic format, you want to maybe focus those wild cards on. Now, remember that the wild cards for the Mystical Archives, your Rainstorm, your Memory Lapse, uh, Inquisition of Kozilek, those are going to be rare slot wild cards. You are not going to get the option to exchange a brainstorm for a common or an uncommon, it will be a rare. <laughs> Excuse me. So, be prepared. But, I wanted to point that out. I thought it was very worthwhile that in just a few short weeks, the historic format has been very much changed by these cards. Now, of course, there are other cards that came with it. Um, I've ran into Grape Shot so many times that it's almost frustrating, but, you know, that is part of the game. So Strixhaven has had a huge impact on our format. Um, now, even if you look at some of the other decks and some of the other things that are going on, there are some cards that, like my mono black deck, for example, if we go here, there's a very good uh, example of where Strixhaven's even impacting the deck some more. So you have cards like Baleful Mastery. That's a pretty big deal. When you're talking about an opponent can draw a card and you can pay two to exile a creature or planeswalker. That's a really big deal. That's a huge change. So there is some there is definitely some cards. You even have go blank as well. Or go Yeah, go blank, sorry. Um where they're they're really impacting the format. I think Strixhaven was actually a little bit bigger than what people thought it was gonna be when it comes to historic only. Now other formats, whatever, I don't care. But I have to admit. Very, very interested to see how things shake out long term. And again, I thought just within that first two weeks here that we have, so our last two weeks, I mean, Historic gets a lot of gameplay online, and this is this is pretty big for Brainstorm, Memory Lapse, and Inquisition of Kozilek to work its way into the top five that quick, I think is noteworthy. Now, of course, you're like, well, what decks are they in? Oh, uh, well, let's find. Let's find. Mono blue aggro is always one that gets some love. Uh, well, you know, let's go. See if there's any is it Phoenix. Just kind of wandering around here. But you see just within here, there's a brainstorm. Boom. Faithless looting. Another card new to the new to the format because of <clears throat> excuse me. Because of those reprints. So those are two pretty big cards, and it's funny that Faithless Looting didn't actually make its way onto uh, that list. I love that new opt art, but I think that's really the only ones that maybe Pillar of Flame was in there. Shock was already in the format. Strategic Planning was already in the format. But there you go, and I thought that was really interesting, the fact that just within a few weeks, uh, and you see here, looking back, if we go back two months, All those games really knock them out. But if we go back to the last two weeks, 
changes everything. So just within the first few weeks here, I thought that was really fascinating. And guys, stop me if you've heard this one before. And if you haven't, let me break some news to you. Brainstorm, any format it's legal in, is going to get a ton of play. Legacy, Commander, um, I'm pretty sure Vintage, it, it gets played a lot. That's just the normal. So Brainstorm, very powerful card. Um, I was actually really surprised that it was brought to Historic, but I think it's the perfect kind of example of what Historic is meant to be. Um, historically famous and popular cards throughout the format. So there you go. That's really all I had was I was just, you know, I woke up this morning, killing some time, uh, figured I'd look and see what the Historic meta is looking like before I get onto Arena. Um, and I saw just the top five is, has gotten a bit of a shakeup. I love it. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what decks and historic you're playing. Tell me what decks in any format you're playing that, that use Brainstorm. And tell me how you abuse it. Uh, I love reading that stuff. And it always means a lot to hear it. Thank you so much. My name is Tony K. Make sure you smash that like button. Pound it down on the subscribe. It's free. It helps me so much. And it is truly appreciated. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next time.